second morning it's looking beautiful granny's trying to wear out her rotate seals but uh we're getting started <laughs> big meat's backing in that's the first semi load well chris hauled a little bit back on his low boy yesterday but that'd be our first semi load out of here on the old pit big meat took my uh air ride pit trailer he likes it pulls good i liked i knew he'd like that trailer and we are in the candy bowl i mean it don't get any simpler than it I'm, I'm i'm sure it could be simpler somehow but i don't know how big day said what do you think of this i was like i told him i said well the trees are a little close together <laughs> You clear cutters out there, you all got her made, I'm telling you. Got her freaking made. This is just, this ain't even logging. This just don't feel like logging. It's too damn easy. So basically, if you see a tree, you cut it. Now there's a few little standing trees that wasn't marked in this, but it's pretty much clear cut. Oh, the, the, the ones that don't get cut needs knocked down because it needs to come back on its own. Or it needs to come back together. It don't need to be like a shelter wood type of deal here you know there's a poplar standing right there that ain't marked tiny little son of a buck ain't worth nothing he's knocked over but here's how they're laying out of course well, the wood's big trees are big these are big fat trees it's sandy ground just good poplar looks good the stumps of the wood look how tall them suckers are just good meaty roger's got a bunch of them back there he can't pull i said them big ones i said just work around them leave them lay we'll finally get two skitters in here and grab them with two skitters just a beautiful patch of wood look how they're laying well i got some i had to drop these in this way top first and i splatted the top on a bunch of tops of these on a bunch of butts of the others try not to bust any wood it's complex at times and i did bust a couple that's a big no-no. I'm trying to lay them out perfectly side by side to where you don't bust any of them. And Brutus's fingers is long and flat. That works on shoveling. But the fingers on, uh, that's the Quadco 24B with the straight fingers. And Derek's Quadco 22C, his CP22, it's a 22 inch head, but it's a C style. It's got roundy round fingers. His fingers are more roundy round. So when you're holding a tree and you're dropping it, it's harder for the tree to open them up. Point of this story I'm telling you is it helps you slow the tree down better. Cause when you're dropping like this, you want to hold back on the tree as much as you can. You want that tree dropping slow. So you don't get such busting. Cause poplar, poplar's not as bad as white pine but poplar does bust and poplar wood is up so the, the 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 struggle today is not to bust these trees from the top and i got a phone call talk to me you usually don't talk you usually don't call me unless something's broke yeah wave your hand across it and if it don't change and you know the eye thinks there's a piece of wood in there if there ain't no wood in it and you wave your hand across there it should change like your hands a piece of wood see what I mean and if it's not changing however the lights are then that should mean that uh, it thinks there's wood in there when there ain't maybe it needs twisted sometimes they get twisted too I can't remember which one and one of them the other day I got my finger stuck in a cord jumping off of there Jam the shit out of my finger, and I'm sure the cord didn't fare too well as much as my finger hurts. So, uh, toodaloo. Bye. But, okay. Well, and there's the gas thing there, so I don't want no explosions. Derek's got a sidekick. <laughs> Derek just gives him heck. He just he just gives him. Oh, Dan, she's a reaching. 
There's big blue. Somebody got me the other day one more big blue stuff. Well, there's big blue. Big blue. We thought about changing the color. No, I'm just kidding. Couldn't change the color. Blue's blue. Big blue's big blue. All right, come on, broody brute. Let's get in the candy bowl. Howdy to all the wonderful peeps. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. This is in the fall of November, uh, the week of the mill install, the mill track install and stuff like that. And here we are today. We are hustling and bustling through the edge of this candy bow poplar section here. Uh, trying not to bust wood, which is easier said than done. Trying not to bust wood and trying to get things knocked out and get it ready for Derek to take over after wednesday so we can go back to the mill and get set up at the uh get the carriage tracks installed and the uh new wheels installed on the carriage back at the head saw but the main problem that i'm running into with this track is breakage these trees are so tall they are so brittle they're fast grown brittle tall and so tightly marked to where it's hard to keep wood off of top of the other wood that i am having a go with this trying to get them down without cracking wood and i'm telling you it's this is not this part's not going well it's a stressful deal here but uh, let's get into this and see what we can what kind of mess we can make and uh, hopefully we can make the best out of this and not get fired. <laughs> All right, here's my dilemma. I wanted to show you guys this. If I don't get smashed by a limb up there, there's a limb up in that hickory out. Just, I brush that top or rolled out of it. I'm trying to drop these forks flat, but the son of a buck rolled out of that. But I want to show you all what you're dealing with here. Poplar, big trees, heavy stems. It's long and tall. And when they hit the ground, they hit it hard. And look at that split, it busted up this way. So if you rode this tree over, it looks bad. <sighs> Every job's got its problems, and that's the problem of this job right here, these poplars. They're so tall and so heavy. Look at that one. Of course, you can tell he, that black wood right there, the shock, screwed that up. And they're so tall, the daggone things are so far up in the air. It's just, it's just so much weight, so much height, so much momentum. It's just hard to hold them back. Every tree, you gotta hold back and fight for dear life to hold them back. Let's top this out together. Damn, I hate this. This is heartbreaking. Now the money's in the bottom of the tree, so it ain't, it ain't all lost, but it ain't good either. And these poplars are almost all forking. And the forks are just going to have to decide where they go. And I might end up having to slow down and get the skitter right on my butt so he can, I can cut a tree and pull it out. I can cut a tree and pull it out. And I mean, I'm saving some of it, but it's as it should be. You want that tree on the ground in one piece, and then you want to pick through it and decide what's good wood and what's not. But when you drop it on the ground and explode, well then the, the decision's pretty much made up for you. I need to knock that. There's an Indiana banana and a black gum. I need to knock them both out. They don't need to be hogged. No, but ain't black gum. It's a damn Linwood. What a waste. Man, I hate this. This is heartbreaking. I've got to get my stuff figured out. I cannot be doing this. Now we're going to 
gonna try to do better from here on in. That's kind of heartbreaking. I'm gonna practice tip them as slow as I possibly can. Is all I can figure out. I just. But now listen. Look, come here a second. Well, oh, y'all's already here. Come here a second. Listen. Let's, let's, let's check this one out. Here's a hickory. And there's where we're crossing the gas line. But here's a hickory. Let's just cut this hickory together while I got y'all on here and show you how easy this can be. Every one of these trees are big enough you gotta double punch them all. This job is just as good as it gets in hardwood. It don't get no footer in hardwood. This landowner sold this prop set there. You little hickory aggravate thing. He's wanting to fall over on me. And if he falls over now, he'll bust. I got to talk to you guys and, and he got my top weight off. Oh boy, this is a nasty disaster waiting to happen. Come on, Bruce. He got time to waste. I'm just gonna cut him off stuff and let him fall beside me. It's the best thing to do with this tree. Well, he hung up that other tree. Hello! Hee hee! Hello, Hickley! Hee hee!
made a, a whop. <laughs> I don't think it's major. I think it's minor, but it's definitely an eek. Let me get out here and let's check this eek out. It ain't bad, but it's leaking. I think it's been coming building the past couple weeks. And I just couldn't find it real easy. And I thought, heck with it, I'll run her till she till she freaking blows by. <laughs> we'll run her till she blows by. <laughs> Goosey goosey. Well, what size is that? That's gonna be it's a three quarter inch hose, so it should be inch and three eighths on it. Or inch and a half flat face. Oh yeah, that's my problem. Faux show. Sure. Faux show. I'll take a loose hose over a bloat hose any day. Now we didn't bring Whitey up here because <laughs> that's where she had her little spill the other day. I said, I'm starting to feel like a normal logger now. We got oil buckets around everywhere. Usually our jobs are tidy and clean. We usually don't have a mistake like that. Um, but we did the other day. helmet lights. I put them right on my helmet. See that clip right there? Come on. Now I know why it was loose because I can't get on it. Oh, son of a buck. It's a one inch. Dang going. Sometimes he drives me nuts, sometimes he don't, but most times he does. <laughs> Come on, it's sort of being done. job for and I should have got extension. Oh you aggravate the cuss. Mm, 
ain't tight. It doesn't tell you it ain't tight enough, but it's, I mean, it's snug, but it ain't tight enough. You can't get to it the way this thing is. Drums. And when he gets into here, he's got more of them stacked. some hand cutter and brutus pushers pullers we're gonna pull these trees right off this daggone power line <coughs> power lines below me cutting that tree and just to make sure y'all know it's the right tree I'm gonna turn over swing over and this is how it went I had to pull the release tab out of pa pow and she come on down with me and it was a beautiful way I mean this is a beautiful way this tree was it's I'll tell you what it gets a hot tell hot oh, tell you what so anyways I just want to show y'all it went good uh battery died in the middle of it so you know Good times, is all I can say, you know. I don't know, you can't really complain about stuff like that. It's all fun, it's all good. Man, there'll be another tree tomorrow I'm gonna do, it's gonna be cool as crap, I promise you. And next week, we'll cut some cool trees and then probably we'll end up on a crane where we can't show anything, but there'll be cool trees cut there too. But y'all have to take my word on them. All right, we're getting close to the yard now. And all the trucks made it back in, so I'm actually probably the worst time to be cutting right by the yard, but Lord knows I've never been accused of making any too good a decision. Yeah, but I may come back second round. What time of day is it? We got we got 1.30. We got about two more hours. And I wanna get this done up here close to the yard. Oh, but yeah, I don't know why my talker's not talking properly right now, but it just ain't. Sometimes your talkers just don't work quite perfectly. Now, these are wide oaks. I want a nice low stunt. I want to get low, low, low. And let me shave the ground on this one. Kill the blade. That's enough stunt. I think we could live with that. Start pushing on it. Beautiful. Ooh, we still pulled a little out of stuff. As long as it wasn't out of trees, all I cared. Because he is busy doing his thing over yard. This is what he said when the police flagged him down. Boop, boop. Give me 40 acres and I'll roll this rig around. It's the easiest way that I found. The breakage has been okay today, <clears throat> but I've not been in the poplar. I get over in that poplar patch and it'll come right back. Blackie down there, boy, that's it. I tell you what, that's a, just a fine looking old bird right there. Look at him go. See, I think me and Robin. Roger?
There goes Big D through the center there. Let's check this tree out. We got this. Give me 40 acres and I'll whip on Roger's butt. You know he's got it coming. Cause he's a pain in the butt. Why does that not look like it? Why does that look like I just misjudged that? Cause it did. You ever misjudge a tree happened to me? I thought it'd be leaning over. I thought it'd be leaning towards Robin, but it actually ain't leaning quite towards Robin. It's leaning in that hole over the yard. Now that was probably, that tree probably got leaning that way based on some trees that stand here where the port of gas line went in. Ooh, that feels like a good undercut. Oh. Ooh, that's a perfect undercut. We'll take that, baby. Now, the idea is to get your the amount of stump you got cut in properly. So when you cut in the back, you got your head at the right angle to start pushing on that tree before right before you get the wood cut all the way off. And then you got her. Keep pressure on, maybe I'll luck out. Oh yeah, we got lucky. If you screw up, you got too much wood holding, just make sure and keep that saw butt behind it because you, you gotta push her through once you made that mistake. Perfect, perfect, we'll take it. Good lay. You really gotta lay him down flat in the dirt. Or it's gonna bite you in the butt. These little trees you're seeing are more Indiana bananas are growing. Too promising. This might not turn out good. Nope. All we can do now is pray and try to slow this sucker down. That helped. Oh, we got lucky, boys. That's not. That was luck. I think hitting that maple tree and busting it down helped.
tree forks on the back of this head. And she's pulping on this job. This pond's pop poplar's good stuff. So even though we're hauling a bit far, it's still good pulp wood. We'll take it. so far my butt I'm a tasting mud these trees are brittle too they grow fast and they're brittle to show this in sequence this was Tuesday this was the day after the veg where we got moved in this was the second day on the job it's a pretty productive day everything went pretty good other than the fact that uh, the busting and all the mess and all that good gizmo <clears throat> but I was wanting to show this in sequence <laughs> I wanted to show this in sequence because, uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Monday we got set up on this job, candy bow popper job, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I had to freaking pour it on, some white knuckle cutting, I mean, I was cutting for all I had, for all me and old broody brute could muster, because Thursday and Friday... We had a guy coming in from Clearman, and he's, uh, well, he's not from Clearman. Dan don't work for Clearman. He's a, he's for hire, and if anybody needs any mill writing and stuff like that, holler, and maybe I can see if I can get you in touch with him or whatnot, uh, but he does do some, he travels around and does mill right work and stuff like that. Dan the man. I think the world of him. Made a good friend with him. Uh... In Werner's, he helped Werner's put in their, what, guys, I think your head saw in the, uh, well, not the head saw, it was there, but they put in a new carriage, the new Clearman carriage and the Paul Tall John set works that Werner's is using, and maybe a log turner, I can't remember, did, did you all get, I think they got, no, 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 they might be using their old chain turner, I can't remember, there's so many mills they all run together. But anyways, good man, good man, Dan. And But he's coming in Thursday and Friday, and I got to get right out of logging mode and get into helping the guys in the mill pull these carriage tracks out, slide new tracks in on a head saw, and getting that thing ready to go, and it's going to be a stressful thing. And then Saturday comes up, and I have to... Um, Saturday comes up and Dan had to go back because he had to catch a plane and me and Mikey and Brent Jr. Me and Mikey and Jr. Uh, puts the uh, gets the, tries to get the thing organized and everything ready to saw. But that's coming up. Not in the next video but the video after next. In the next video we're going to do some hardcore this dark 
this is actually a clip from the next video where I'm cutting this great big huge tree. I'm, the phone's sitting on the log stack by the knuckle boom. But, uh, but uh, we got to get this thing sewed up and I'm running white knuckle all the way to the end to try to get this thing. Because the reason is, is I can't get this cut in three days. It's going to take all week to cut. And there is a, a lot of gravy, number one. But number two, there's some big freak trees, and there's some hard situations, and there's some power lines, it's a county road, drainage ditches, and huge trees that I don't want to just dump on Derek and walk off. I mean, uh, Derek's a good man, and 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 I, I ain't shooting no bull to you guys. He does a lot around this place, and if he's gonna help me like he's been doing. I daggone sure don't want to wear out my welcome. I don't want to dump a bunch of trash on him when he comes out. You know, I don't want to leave a bunch of hand-cut veneer trees for him or or leave a bunch of freak line trees or stuff like that. So I tried to run around the perimeter as much as I could, you know, and still got to do a fairly clean-cut job and keep skitters moving and then get the drainage stuff and get, get my fair share of white oak veneer trees cut, hand cutters and all that stuff. So... So when Derek comes in, he ain't just screwed with a bunch of hard work. And he can get some fun cutting time, too. So, but that's where we're at. I thank you all for watching. And uh, leave me likes and comments. Let me know what's up with y'all. And anybody got any wisdom, any question, or anything like that, feel free to jot her down, and I'll go through the comments. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good one later on. Oh, 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 and don't forget to smile.